My name is Jane Hammerstrom, and I'm a geologist for the U.S. Geological Survey. Copper is one of the first metals that was ever extracted and used by humans. And copper has been vital to the development and sustainability of society since the dawn of civilization. Once you get it out of the ground, it doesn't ever go away. You can use it over and over. And so I like to say copper never leaves the planet. My name is Michael Cole. I'm also known as Copper Mike and I build motorcycles and other art pieces with copper. I just love the finish of copper. You can bring it back to a shiny finish or you can just keep it patinaed. When it ages, it just has a beauty to it also. You know, you take an antique piece that's been around for 50, 100 years and you put that into a motorcycle and, you know, immediately it has heart and soul to it, the bike. My name is Wang Jiewei. In 2014, China 呃，回收的铜的数量是多少呢？据我们测算，大概在两百万吨左右。那么我们国家呀，对于一些呢大的主要城市，都规划建设了一些回收体系，同时呢也支持建设了十四个进口再生资源的加工园区，还有呢支持建设了五十个城市矿产的示范基地。I'm Duran Apelian. I'm the Alcoa Hamid Professor of Engineering at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. If we view our consumption habits over the last 20, 30 years as a global society, more and more products are being made that use more and more of the periodic table, meaning that there's a lot of valuable elements that are not being recovered and reused. And these are materials and elements that are finite, and we have a responsibility for the next generations to come to recover the elements after use and appropriately use them for other purposes. And when you look at materials that recycle, you have to talk about copper. My name is David Spencer. I'm the founder of WTE Corporation, a recycling company, and we have developed some very exciting technologies that can really change the playing field for recycling of copper. We have technologies that can process materials while they're flying through the air at 500 feet per minute using x-rays and lasers to capture information about those materials that tells you their exact composition. Use air jets to blow those materials off of conveyors sorted by particular alloy and collect those for resale. The other neat part that people forget is that you can recycle copper one time, two times, three times, a hundredth time, it does not degrade. And so in a sense, you could really argue that it's infinitely recyclable. About two-thirds of the copper that's been produced since 1900 is still in productive use today. And nearly one-third of copper demand is met through recycled copper metal. Copper is definitely a metal for the ages. And by understanding what it is and how we can use it and where it comes from and how it can be recycled, we can ensure that the copper that's improving our lives today will be available for future generations.